I love it. Well, the you're the perfect audience oh, really? then, actually. <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> So does anybody really know what goes on behind the royal closed doors? Well, the people who are behind the royal closed doors know what goes on. And a few, a tiny number of people around them. But mostly not, no. And it's, it's very protected. It's very, very cleverly protected. Without the sort of, not the kind of security that, uh, you know, George Bush might have, you know, hundreds of guys in black suits with things here. But there's another kind of protection, which is a cultural protection. Um, and they are very, very protected. So do you limit yourself to just looking at the uh, films and mannerisms and... Look at a, I looked at a lot of films, listened, obviously, to audio, um, and read a lot of books, and then did a lot of thinking. And then I kind of behaved a bit like a detective. You know, I played Detective Jane Tennyson in this series called Prime Suspect. Um, and I, I used a lot of my detective powers mm -hmm in trying to see beyond the obvious into what's behind it. Was there any hesitation, though, about maybe playing the role? I mean... There was a hesitation. I, I certainly didn't uh, sign off on it until I read the script that was... that I thought had the right tone. Um, I wouldn't have done it I thought, if it had been a cheap shot, if it had been vulgar, if it had been exploitative. And I don't think our film is any of those things. Is, is there a certain responsibility, though, of not only playing a real person, but a real person that's alive? Well, of course, because you know what? You're never going to be more than 25%. You can't win, really. You know, either you're going to be completely crap, or you're only going to be 25%, because the real person is so much better than you are at being them. Um, so what you have to do is kind of go beyond that. Go beyond being the real person into a, into a different kind of imaginative world that is almost like like a, a portrait now do you ever find yourself because i don't i know i would if i was in costume or i was in the setting and uh, i'm being the queen i'd be looking in the mirror and just feeling like i don't oh, know i'm the queen <laughs> <laughs> or i hope i'm the king yeah um no i didn't it uh no partly because the queen doesn't behave like that she's very she's extraordinary because she's quite small She's very centered. She doesn't walk around like I'm the queen, you know, at all. Um, she allows all the people around her to make her into the queen. She is just very naturally, she's very dignified. She's very self-controlled. Um, but she's certainly not hoity-toity. As you were researching and being a detective, uh, what did, did you find all the protocols to just be bizarre? Bizarre, yes, bizarre, very. And, you know, I mean, I wasn't brought up in that world at all. I was brought up as an anti-monarchist, actually, um, and not a part of the British class system at all. So, you know, that was always an alien world to me. But, you know, it's drenched in history. There's a long, it's four or five hundred years of history we're looking at. And, and I think that the monarchy is very conscious of that, of their role of, in British history. Um, that's very, very important to them. That's why the protocol is important, because that's a, a sense of continuum. I mean, if you have a beautiful old house, for example, it's got lovely old windows made of wood, and someone comes along and says, this wood is a load of rubbish, it rots, it's useless, throw it out, let's put plastic windows in, much better. They won't rot, you know, you don't need to paint them, so let's rip the beautiful old windows out, put plastic windows in. Some people who love old things would go, no, I know the old windows don't work as well, but they're much more beautiful and they belong in the house. And I think that the royal family are kind of like that. There are old wooden windows in the house that is Britain. Phenomenal job. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you.